Hello, everyone. Let's go ahead and keep the uh, conversation on the horse barn for now. Uh, lots of things to go over. Um, right here, you can see we have a standard black Arabian horse. And this is pedigree zero. Um, sometimes you'll see across the top. Sometimes you'll need to look at the sign here. Here's an example. This is a pedigree two horse. And you can see it right across here. Um, the basics is if you breed two of the standard, the pedigree zero horses, you create a pedigree one. You breed two pedigree one horses, then you will create a pedigree two horse. And two pedigree two horses will create a pedigree three, and so on. Um, things to remember is that once you use a horse in the horse barn for breeding the next level pedigree, you cannot use that horse again. It will have, uh, when right here on this uh, information box, it will say already bred. So you cannot use this one in the barn again. So it takes a little bit of thinking ahead of what you're going to be doing. So let's see what I have in my barn right now. It looks like I have only zero pedigree horses. Now I have the one baby that is a pedigree two. When I feed the baby bottles to that pedigree two horse, it will go give me the option to put it in the barn. There it is right there. So I need to have another pedigree two horse in this barn in order for me to get a pedigree three. So let me see if I can get that together for you and then we'll take it from there. You can see here that I have uh, one pedigree horse here, and I have two zeros. What I'm going to do is go ahead and breed these two so that I will have a second pedigree one because I need to have two pedigree two horses to get my pedigree three. So I will go ahead and breed these two, and I'll show you how that comes out. The first time that I breed those two zero pedigree horses, I'm not fully uh, covering this uh, pedigree predictor for level one or pedigree one horses. So this one you'll see does not show this filled in here for pedigree one. But um, when I do the second breeding of two zero pedigree horses, then I will be able to get that second pedigree. So uh, keep your eye on this and I will go ahead and show you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and feed the baby bottles for this horse that I just brought out of the barn. And then I'm going to go ahead for the second time, breed the zero pedigree horses in order to get a second uh, number one pedigree to breed to get another two. <laughs> I sure hope this isn't getting confusing for you. So here it is. Here's the one that we've been watching, this gray one right here. And you can see the cell indicator is moved up here. So then I'm going to go ahead and select another horse. And I'm going to um, go ahead and feed. You know, we, here's, the, here's where we ended last time. Now we're going to move up a little bit further. And now we are fully covered in this uh, pedigree one. So this new horse should be a pedigree one. There it is. So let's go ahead and place this one. Now a couple other things, too, I wanted to mention is that when you finish breeding one horse in the horse barn, then you are feeding all of the other horses on your farm. Um, from what we have seen so far, 
it does not include the horses in the animal barn here. So what I've been doing is I've been taking all of my horses out of the barn and placing them over here. Uh, let me see if there's one in there. Maybe we can watch together to see if uh, it uh, requests to be ha another feeding again from the animal barn. Let's try it. I'm waiting right now for my animal barn to open up. They need to, um, the dog uh, usually barks and uh, helps produce more items from the animals in the barn. So I'm waiting for that over there. You'll see that uh, your barn it gets light and you wait for that. But I also wanted to show you real quick here too, is the breeding barn. If for some reason your game stops or um, you are at your limit for animals or horses on your farm, you'll see this blue uh, raindrop above your barn. That means the baby's still in there. So no worries about that. You don't have to go looking through inventory or anything. Um, she's still in there, so. Okay, I have one black Arabian horse in the animal barn, and it has 21 feedings left until it's prized. So let's watch together and see when we breed in the breeding barn if this horse requests to be bred. Uh, fed afterwards, as all the others will, which is really helping us gather lots of horseshoes and fertilizer, which is awesome. So um, let me go ahead and take this baby out. This is the uh, last one that we just uh, did where we got that on pedigree one for this horse. And we shall place this right here. Whoa. <laughs> That horse had a, looked like a newborn for sure. So let's take a look at what we're going to do here. First, we have a pedigree one. We have a pedigree two. This is a zero and a zero. Uh, looks like quite a gathering over here. Not sure what's going on with that. So I'm going to look in the barn real quick. Here's the uh, first one we want to use to breed to try and get our pedigree two. And I need to get that new baby we just had in here also. So what we'll do is this is the one we were talking about that we just uh, made pedigree one. Let's go ahead and get the baby bottles and get that one in the barn too. And then we will see what happens when we breed those two pedigree one horses. So I'm going to go ahead and say go breed so that it comes in the breeding barn right here. So here we have our two. Let's use our selector and watch our pedigree predictor. So first one is all the way up here. That's looking good. And the second one comes here. So. What this tells me is that I'm going to have to breed the pedigree one horses twice to get another pedigree two. So this is why they have these different shades and they're showing you how far along you are towards getting to the next goal. So we're gonna go ahead and breed and then we're gonna remember to check the horses. Let me see. Um, I'll go ahead and feed now. I do not believe I have enough feed to get that second one, so let's run over there real quick and do that. You'll notice right here that uh, these horses are not ready to be fed yet. Um, that is going to happen when we finish with uh, this horse that we're working on now. Okay, I made some more food so that we can continue forth here. We have uh, Boost Baby, and that's getting close to uh, the second pedigree. I don't think it's going to be enough, but let's just double check. Be awesome if it was. Oh, look at that. I did move into this uh, second one. So now we have two of the pedigree two horses. All I need to do is place this one. And I have two babies that are pedigree two. I got to get their bottles for them. And then we will get them in the barn and we will get 
hopefully a third pedigree, unless we have to do it twice. <laughs> Let's check on that. Here's my first pedigree two horse that I'm getting the baby bottle for. And I am going to say yes on go breed. So we're going to have one in the barn with pedigree two. And here it is right here. So let's get one more of those. I did want to uh, have you see that these horses all became hungry again after we bred that second one there. And let's go back and check on that uh, black Arabian. Remember it was on 21. Um, I do have other animals that need to be fed right now. Let's see what happens with that number in just a moment. Check in right now. And it did go down to 20. So let's keep our eye on that and see if it goes down to 19 next time. So I have enough baby bottles to go ahead and feed this second pedigree to horse. We want to go ahead and get the baby bottles and then we want to get it in the barn so that we'll have two pedigree two horses. I went ahead and clicked on go breed. And we do have one, two, two pedigree two horses right here. So let's watch what happens up here on the predictor. We're going to select this first one and it starts way up there. That looks good. And here we're going to select this one and to me it looks like we're going to have to do this twice because I'm not getting over here but let's go ahead and give it a try and maybe maybe we'll get over to this pedigree three so I'm going to go ahead and start it and let's feed once oh isn't that cute look at this got a little white on its nose there um, let's go ahead and do that's the first time and I got one more time to feed them, so maybe, maybe. Wow, it moved into the pedigree three, so I didn't have to do the uh, pedigree two twice. Let's see what happens when we get the baby. And it is a pedigree three, so we only had to do it one time. That is so awesome. So uh, what we have today is we started at level zero. We bred those horses till we got to pedigree one. Then we bred two pedigree one horses and we got a pedigree two. We bred two pedigree two horses and we got a pedigree three. So that's the way we move uh, up in pedigrees and uh, we're trying to get to five. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and place this new pedigree three horse here. Notice that each time the horses become hungry again, so that is a great uh, way to get more fertilizer and we're really building up the horseshoes on that. So one of the last things I wanted to do was check on that black Arabian horse and uh, if you remember it went from 21 down to 20 and if this is continually going down and it is look it's 18 that is so awesome because it would be wonderful to be able to place all of the horses that are already bred that you can't use in the barn. Um, in this animal barn here, uh, it did go down to 18. So uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on that. And if it continues to work, maybe that is something that they fixed. So awesome news on that. And I wanted to thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching my videos and sharing them with your friends. Uh, I have received wonderful feedback, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, I know the volume is an issue, and I'm really trying to figure out uh, how to get that resolved. Um, on your computer, you should find down here in the bottom, uh, you do have a place with your speakers that you can move this up and down. Um, lots of times it's set right here in the middle. You can move that up higher, and that's in addition to the physical speakers uh, that you have with your equipment. So um, again, I really appreciate your time and thank you so much.